decorator design pattern in case of decorator design pattern we shall add some more functionalities to an object without changing the object structure decorator pattern allows the user to add some new functionalities to an existing object without altering its structure this type of design pattern comes under the structural design pattern as this pattern acts as a wrapper to the ex existing class this pattern creates a decorator class which wraps the original class and provides additional functionalities and keeping the class methods signature intact we are demonstrating the use of decorator pattern by a following example in which we will decorate a shape with some color without altering the shape class itself so we are adding more functionalities to a class without changing the class structure so that is the basic theme behind this decorator design pattern so let us go for one practical example using java where we will be showing that how this decorator design pattern can be implemented so here is the demonstration for you in this session we are discussing the implementation of decorator design pattern using java coding so here we are going to create one shape interface and the concrete class which will be implementing this shape interface and we will then create an abstract decorator class the name of the class will be shape decorator implementing the shape interface and having shape object as is its instance variable red shape decorator is concrete class implementing shape decorator and this particular decorator pattern demo will be our demo class where we will be producing our outputs and which will use the red shape decorator to decorate shape objects so to have the better clarity on this concept on this planning let us go step by step at first we, are, we shall create one shape dot java that is one java interface so this is our java interface we are getting so public interface shape so name of the interface is shape and it is having only one unimplemented method that is a draw which returns void okay so we have defined one shape interface which which is having only one method unimplemented that is draw next one is our create concrete classes implementing the same interface so we'll be going for concrete classes which will implement the interface shape dot java so let they be rectangle dot java and circle dot java so this is our rectangle dot java which is implementing the shape and also overriding the draw method so this is the respective string is getting printed if i execute the draw method and similarly for the circle this particular shape colon circle will be printed if we execute this draw method so this circle is nothing but a class implementing the shape interface rectangle is also nothing but a class implementing the shape interface and both of them have implemented the code against the draw method so i think now this concept is cleared up to this level okay now we shall go for the create abstract decorator class implementing the shape interface and name of the class will be shape decorator dot java so let us come to this shape decorator dot java which implements shape interface as it implements shape interface so the draw method must be overwritten must be defined here so public void draw that is a decorated shape dot draw so decorated shape is nothing but one instance variable under the class decorator shape decorator so protected so it is uh, remember this one it is under the scope protected so can be inherited also if i require so protected shape decorated shape we are having and then public decorator shape decorator is is it is nothing but the constructor which takes this shape object as input argument input parameter and this dot decorated shape will be instantiated will be initialized with this decorated shape there is a shape object and draw method we have overwritten here which will just execute the decorated shape that is a instance variable decorated shape dot draw next one we are going for that is our red shape so create concrete decorator class extending the shape decorator class so that is our red shape decorator so in case of red shape decorator which extends the shape decorator so red shape decorator is a constructor here which is having one shape object as input parameter and it is calling the base class constructor it is calling the base class constructor using the keyword super so this decorated shape is the object shape class object has been passed as the input argument so here the base class is the shape decorator its constructor that means this particular constructor will go on executing so this particular decorated shape 
this particular decorator shape which has been passed as input argument will be assigned to this decorator shape and this dot decorator shape is equal to decorator shape. So, now it will go to instantiate the instance variable. Next we are having this draw method. So, there is a overriding the draw method. So, here we are writing decorated shape dot draw. So, that is the decorated shape means from here this decorated shape has got inherited because this particular red shape decorator class is inheriting the shape decorator. So, that is why dec decorated shape dot draw. So, this particular method will be called and as a result of that this particular uh, method will be called ultimately. So, you see it is calling the shape. So, that means the shape. So, this particular method will be called here. So, now along with that we are going for set red border. So, one method which has been locally defined here as the member uh, method here. So, here we are passing this decorated shape. So, now this this uh, set red border. So, shape decorated shape and then system dot outer print ln border color colon red. So, we are going for the decoration here. So, this decorator decorated shape dot draw the method will be called along with that this particular method has been called and this method is printing this string there is a border color colon red. So, now we are going for the last class that is the use the red shape decorator to decorate the shape object. So, decorator pattern demo dot java and verify the output. So, this is the decorator pattern demo dot java. So, here we have defined one circle class uh, circle object under the uh, interface shape is equal to new circle. So, ultimately we are going to create one circle class object here. So, shape red circle and shape red rectangle. So, now it is, is equal to new red shape decorator new circle and it is new red shape decorator new rectangle. So, now the in the first case we are passing one circle class object as input argument here we are passing the rectangle rectangle class object as input argument to this constructor red shape decorator. So, if you come to this red shape decorator you can easily find that its constructor is taking shape class object as input argument. So, shape is not a class shape is nothing but an interface and this rectangle dot java will be the implementing class of the shape interface. So, as a result of that whenever this shape object can be passed. So, there we can also pass our rectangle class object or circle class object. So, that is why here you can find that we have passed that circle class object and also the rectangle class object in the next time. So, now if you go for the circle dot draw, if you go for the red circle dot draw, if you go for the red rectangle dot draw, you will be getting the output like this. So, these outputs we are getting. So, full code is there, output is also there, you can go for a match. So, now at first we are having this, this is a shape circle is equal to new circle. So, it is a mere circle class object. So, whenever I am printing, whenever I am printing this, uh, this particular string from this draw method, there is a circle dot draw, we are getting this output something like this. We are getting this output, there is a shape colon circle. But here you see this shape red circle is equal to new red shape decorator, new circle. So, whenever we are printing this red circle dot draw, not only shape colon circle will be printed, but along with that the border color colon red will be also printed. So, you can get it here. So, not only this one, so also the border color red will be also printed. So, at first it will be called and then this particular method will be called here. So, in this way we are getting the next output that is a rectangle of the red border and then we are having this shape colon uh, rectangle and the border color colon red. So, rectangle of the red border and then red rectangle dot draw. So, it is just printing this line and also this line there is a border color colon red. So, in this way you are getting this idea how this decorator design pattern can get implemented using our Java code. So, let us go for the class diagram for the same. So, here we are having the class diagram. So, shape is nothing but one interface having only one method unimplemented that is our draw. This rectangle and the class uh, circle these two are the implementing Java classes. So, they are implementing the shape. So, that is why they are having this draw method overwritten there. And this is, this is our shape decorator, this is our shape decorator which is having this shape class object, there is a decorated shape interface object, there is a decorated shape. So, you can easily go for the shape decorator, you can find that we are having this shape uh, object here. So, there is a decorated shape under the protected section. So, that is why to denote is protected, 
this particular hash symbol is coming down here and this is our this is a red shape decorator which is extending this shape decorator class. So, red shape decorator is the constructor draw is the method which is getting overwritten here and set red border. So, there is another class another method is getting defined here. So, you can get it from red shape decorator. So, this is another method which is under the private section. So, as a result of that this red color is indicating it is under the private section and this is our decorator pattern demo where we are having this decorator pattern demo constructor under the public section and the under the public section we are having this main method of the type of static. So, in this way we have demonstrated how this decorator design pattern can be implemented using Java coding. Thanks for watching this video.